The Story of Yes and No Written by Daniel Errico Illustrated by Ricky Audi Before words were words, a boy named Yes lived in a small village in a small kingdom. Yes was good at everything. He was the best, smartest and most liked person in his village. Yes had a brother and his name was No. No was jealous of his brother because he was not much good at anything himself. Whenever the villagers asked No for help, he refused because he didn't like people very much. Whenever someone asked Yes for a favor, he would gladly help and he secretly didn't mind the fact that it irritated No when he did. One day, Yes and No's father, O.K., went on a long journey and he left his two sons in charge of all the animals. Yes took good care of the great cock and the eggs and the three-toed yak. Keep in mind, my dear friend, that the cock, eek and the three-toed yak were very old animals, so you might know them by different names today. No didn't want to be bothered with the boring task involved with taking care of the animals. So instead of helping his brother, No went down to the lake and threw rocks into the water. A few days after his father left, Yes asked his brother to wash the three-toed yak while he went to find some food to eat. Instead of doing what Yes asked, No lay down, shut his eyes and forgot about the yak. It just so happened that the king had a personal road nearby and he travelled on it often. So often that when the three-toed yak wandered onto the road, the king's carriage was passing by and had to swerve to avoid hitting it. The king was thrown from the carriage and fell to the ground and hurt himself. The king demanded to know why a three-toed yak had been allowed on his road and asked all the villagers for an explanation. Yes was always honest, so he told the king the entire story. The king thought for a moment and then he came up with an idea that he was quite happy with. Yes and No were to work in the castle as his personal assistants as punishment for what was later referred to as the worst three-toed yak and carriage accident in the kingdom's history. The king needed help with many things around the castle because a king cannot be bothered with the daily task involved with running a kingdom. However, soon after his decision about the two brothers, the king realized that only yes would be of any use to him as a servant. Whenever the king asked no to bring him anything, it would get thrown away, broken or eaten without exception. The king was quite sure that No was the worst servant in the entire world. The brother's most important task was to help pick the food for a grand party that the king was throwing later that night. Cooks from all over the kingdom lined up at the castle's gate to offer the king their food for the party. Of course, the king could not go and grab the food himself, so he asked Yes and No to do it for him. The first cook came up the gate and yelled to the gatekeeper, I bring my delicious Agberry pie for the king's banquet. The king heard this and thought that Agberry pie would be the perfect for such an event and he would love to eat the leftovers. He didn't want anything to happen to the Agberry pie, so he yelled, Yes! and then asked Yes to go fetch it. The next cook stepped up to the gate I offer the king grookey cake soup, he said. The king didn't like grookey soup very much and he knew just how to get rid of it. No, he yelled and then sent No out to retrieve the soup. No dropped the soup before the king could even smell it. This went on for hours. If the king liked a dish, he would yell, yes, and it would be included in the night's feast. If he did not, everyone would hear a loud NO and the dish would be destroyed moments later by a servant with a very bad attitude. Pretty soon, this started catching on around the kingdom for if a king does something, his loyal subjects are never far behind. If they didn't want a second scoop of potatoes, they would say NO 
and if they liked what someone was offering, they would say, Yes! And ever since that day, in a small village, in a small kingdom, yes has meant yes, and no has meant no. This small kingdom also happens to be the birthplace of yes and no's cousins, please and thanks. But that is another story for another time. The End <laughs>